10976 on the button. Uh, if we were playing 100 to 150 big blinds deep or even deeper, I would certainly be through betting this a fair amount of the time. But when you're playing cap, I think uh, I think short stack. It's better to use your positional advantage and just call. Uh, no real point in in three betting to something like 500 and letting them repot it uh, with aces and kings and and putting most of your money in as a as a slight dog rather than just seeing a flop in position. So I call, and we're forward to a flop of 10-8 deuce rainbow, and it checks to me, and I decided to pot. And I think, um, I mean, obviously this is completely fine, but uh, I think I would prefer a slightly smaller bet of like 350. Um, I think if I had Jack 9-7, I would prefer potting it because you don't have a pair and you don't have the best hand. But here with 10 9 7 6, I think your hand's slightly stronger and strong enough to induce a little action from some of the weaker hands in their range that wouldn't necessarily go with it against a pot size bet, but might against a smaller bet that think they have hold equity. So, uh, just looking at uh, some pro poker tool stuff with Queen Jack 9 7 on this board, we're 48% against a range of. Uh, Queen Jack Nine Star, and, and I, I include uh, an extra card in like the the sets because if you just do ten ten star star, it it just gives way too many combos of that hand. So uh, with with Queen Jack Nine Seven, the big wrap, uh, the highest wrap possible, uh, against a, a range of wraps, two pairs, and and sets, uh, you're forty eight percent, which is great. Uh, with with uh, Jack Nine Seven Six. You're thirty-four percent. And let me see if I can. And with ten nine seven six, you're forty-three percent. So um, obviously the stronger your equity is, the more likely you want action. Um, and the weaker your equity is, the more you want to dissuade action. So I think with uh, Jack nine seven six I would I would just pot it, and with the other two hands I'd be more likely to bet a little smaller. But anyway, I pot it and they all fold. All right, queens raise in the in the cutoff, and I always make my raises to uh, to minimum and cap. Uh, I think it allows for a lot of really cool things post flop. Uh, you can play a lot on turn in rivers, whereas if you three x or full pot, you there's virtually no play on rivers, uh, especially when it goes bet bet on the previous streets. Um, so I I raise I flop top set, which is great. Make a three fourths pot bet, get called. Turns an offsuit deuce. Um, and when he checks to me, I have uh, two options. I can either bet a little smaller or I can bet full pot. And I think in a scenario like this, I, I need to be betting full pot. Um, I have top set, so it's hard for him to have top pair. Uh, we probably would have heard from kings or aces pre-flop, most likely. And uh, I have a seven blocking that, so it's, it's really hard for him to have top two or, or middle set. So uh, I think uh, his most likely hand is weakish draws. And, uh, of course, if I bet a little smaller, I'm more likely to get a call. But I think um, there's there's virtually no chance of him check-raising all in. So I think uh, my best bet is to just try to get the max value by, by betting the, the maximum amount. But, unfortunately, he folds.